Welcome to Blender. Well, this is a really quick start to get you started on Blender. And this is flash screen you get. And by default, you get this scene with just a cube and a camera. How we navigate, we use the middle mouse button to rotate around. Not holding any keys down, middle mouse button rotates around. Shift middle mouse button moves, pans the view, like left to right or up and down. And control middle mouse button lets you zoom. You can, of course, also use your scroll wheel if you have one. How to now get back to um, the overall view. If you hit home, it frames everything. If you hit the dot on your numeric keypad, it focuses in on the object that is selected. Now, how do you select an object? It's very simple. You just click on it. This is the default cube that's there. We might want to move it about a little. So how do we get into move? You have these tools out here. If I hit T, those tools go away and reappear. You can select your tools from here and drag your object around. You have to click on it to move it. Same thing with rotate. And the same thing with scale. Whee. Now let's control Z this. Boom, back to this origin. We can also, instead of using these, that's actually the select tool up there, these options, you can use direct keys like the G and then we do not click and look at all those things that happen at the bottom which you now can use. I do not click it just stuck to the mouse now. I can freely move it about and as soon as I click it's stuck there. If I hit G again it moves around. If I then hit a certain axis let's limit it in Y. Let's hit Y. Now it only moves on the Y axis. Or a limit it in the x axis. Now it only moves on the x axis. And if I click, it's stuck. And if I hit G again and then Y axis, I can move it that way. Notice how the Z axis is pointing up. So G moves stuff, R rotates, and again, hitting then the Y limited to the Y direction, hitting the hitting R Z rotates it around Z. And same with scale. Scale is simply S. And again, if I then hit Y, it only scales in Y. Or Z, it only still scales in Z. You can directly manipulate it if you know those sh shortcut keys. You can use the same keys, or almost the same keys, to get to these options. You do, do Shift Spacebar. That's shift spacebar, and then hit the letter of the controller you want. G for move. Then you just get the controller. You can also choose to get the universal controller, which lets you do anything. You just grab whatever you want, and it lets you do anything. This is a one-window view. You can do a four-window view, but there's not enough space on this screen, and you actually don't really need it. But if you rotate you and hold down Alt and rotate, it snaps to the orthographic views. And if I didn't let go of Alt and just rotate around, it really gets back into perspective. So you can really easily get to your orthographic views. You can also hit these buttons up here to get into all the different views. And then with just middle mouse drag gets you back into perspective. So that's your basic navigation. Let's add some object. Add mesh, circle. No, let's add, just add a sphere. That's a sphere. Nice sphere. -y. We can mess with it. It always gets created where this 3D cursor lives. So if I add a monkey mesh, monkey, we get a monkey there. Yay, and I can move it about and mess it with it. 
if you accidentally move that thing about, which is not that hard to do if you get into move mode, you can move the 3D cursor. So now if I move it out here, a new object, add mesh, uh, let's do cone, gets created out there. But we often uh, move this by accident and need to move it back to the center. So you do Shift C, Shift C, shoots the three cursor back to the origin and frames the entire scene. So now I've got a whole bunch of objects in the scene, and you can move them about to make something nice with it to construct something. In this object mode, there's no way to actually deform. You see how I just accidentally moved this three cursor. So I'm going to do Shift C again because I'm in 3D cursor mode. Go back to select mode. You cannot actually edit this cube in object mode. For that, you need to go to edit mode. Edit mode allows you to edit the selected object. The other objects are still visible, but you can't do anything with them. You got the normal selections, you got the Point selection, vertex selection, edge selection, and face selection. And it's actually one, two, three, one, two, three. Select your these, not on your numeric keyboard, because on your numeric keyboard, that actually gets you into the orthographic views. But on the top of the keyboard, if you use one, two, three, you can select vertices, edges, or faces. So let's select a, um, I'm in face mode now. So if I then hit G, I can move the face about. I can also go shift space G and get my controller to have exact control. It's moving in global space right now. You can actually move in local space or whatever space you feel comfortable with. So if I now go to one to hit vertex, I'm gonna pull a vertex and I'm gonna mess with it. So we can change the shape. And of course, the usual tool that's available in all 3D packages, if you have a face selected and you hit E, it extracts or extrudes. So extruding, hitting E is extremely easy. You can also, if you'd like, extrude an edge but you get this weird geometry that doesn't make sense. You get this geometry that's non-manifold. Uh, the 3D program will have a hard time figuring out what is the front and the back of this particular polygon because it's attached to an edge. So this edge has three polygons coming out of it, make it non-manifold. We don't know what is inside and what is outside. Anyway, that gets too detailed. Extruding polygons can be extremely handy in, in modeling and for instance, we can say, if we want this face gone, let's say we don't want that face. Let's say we're going to delete it, hit X, get rid of that face. Now the geometry is perfectly all right. So that's edit mode. In edit mode, you can change the shapes of objects and go back to object mode to select an other object. You can hit dot to zoom in on it, and then we can go into edit mode again to change the shape. With these basic tools, you should be able to mess around and build something.